Hi guys, this is Becca. I am just here um, to show you the rest of my haul video from today. And um, most of this is one line, but there's a couple of extra pieces of paper thrown in there um, that I grabbed from different lines to kind of add to the line so that I can use it, you know, more throughout a full book. So the first piece of paper is from Miss Caroline, and it is from my mind's eye, Fiddlesticks Love. It's got... Um, so this is actually the third. I bought three pieces of this paper. It's got that gray pinstripe on the back, and then it has the wood grain on the front, which I love for, like, beachy, um, you know, themes. Here in Minnesota, everybody seems to go up to the lakes and going to the docks, and so I know that I can use that. The next one is from Fiddlesticks, and it's called Lucky. The back is this really cool, like, matted gray and white polka dot. But I really like this page, actually. Like, strips of doilies. And I think that, um, it would look really cool, like, just cut up and added throughout my line. Um, and then the last piece of Miss Caroline that I got was Howdy Doody Beautiful. I don't know what it is about this piece of paper, but I just like it. The other side is... Oh. Okay, so I think I've got it all sorted out. Where the next couple pieces of paper, the next stash is all stuff from the line that I had to have. Um, oh wait, what's this? Here's one more. This one is called Dilly Dally Hello. And then there's this one too. I forgot this one. Um, called Fiddle Six Love journal paper. So cut it up, use it a lot of different places on your pages, and that's like 79 cents, just like all the paper that they have at the store, so I thought that was kind of fun. Okay, so, first of all, for this line, I got the five, or the, um, um, six by six paper, because I'm making six by six pages so often, I thought that this might be kind of a new thing for me. So, it's $5.99 for this, 24 sheets, not that good of a deal, but um, because the the pages are to scale for smaller pages, I think that it's going to look a lot classier. So I got the Follow Your Heart line from my mind's eye. Um, I'm very excited about this. I got all of the girls' side. Like, I don't know what that means. I don't know if there's a one and a two. There's always, like, the blue and then the pink. And I got the blue line. Um, because they really were like, wow, I could totally scrap a coat with these. So I got that. And then I got the um, chipboard journaling pieces to go with it as well. Um, I don't normally buy journaling, like, the chipboard stuff. But because I'm so I'm doing so many like clustering and whatnot, I think that it'd be really fun to have this. And there's so many paper things that I can cut out of the silhouette where it looks like it's just like stickers, anyways. So these would be fun to add. Got that. And then there's this piece of paper I got three of because I really like this one. They're like little doilies. The back has got the gray on it, which I like. And then I've got, okay, I'm not like into, nor normally I'm not into this kind of paper, but I just really, really like it. It's already, it's kind of like a Webster page. That's what it reminds me of. It's got that faint, like honeycomb. And then it says a few of my favorite things. It kind of looks like it's already like clustered, the pages do. Um, so this one is called um, be happy. I've got two of this one, so I can use a lot of it. Um, follow your heart, be happy, adorable paper. I don't know what that means. Um, I think this is the girl's, this was the one piece of paper I got over on the girl's side, so I don't know if that's why it's the same name. The back of it's got this gray striped, slanted stripe. Um, there's one. It has, it's kind of neat. It looks like it's been stamped a couple of times. You can see that. And over here, it's got this. I'm not really a fan of this side. 
at all. Um, this would be amazing. I really like this side. So I got two of these because this yellow honeycomb, I think that I could use throughout a lot of stuff. And it, ironically, this one really matches well with the other one that I picked up today. That is the, um, the new one, the Neapolitan line. I'm trying to see if I can find a good piece of paper to show, to show you. Like, it's just kind of like fun and spring and all that jazz. Okay. Listen to your soul down here in the corner. Just like right up my alley, but I don't have to do any of the work to make the cluster. So that's kind of cool. But I also thought it would be really fun to like, um, can you guys see? It's, it's like screen, it looks like it's like kind of like screen printed with different, can you see that in the background? It's kind of made to look like there's a blue piece of paper and then there's white stripes going over it because there is a pattern on the blue. It's really hard to see, but really cool. Like another like hidden hidden thing. Um, I'm not like super fond of this paper, but um, it matches the rest of the lines, so you kind of like have to have paper that you can add throughout the pages. Um. And there's this one. It says, "All who wander are not lost." It's got little like embellishments up there. In the corner, and then the gray and white polka dots, only bigger. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say something about this. Um, I really like how the banner up at the top is like little unique. It's got the two globes and then like the. There's something about my mind's my, my mind's eye papers, like how heavy it is. I really like this cardstock. And then over here it says Mimi. Kind of framed in there, but it also has this great color on the back. It says I absolutely adore you. I just love the clustering on that. It's like totally awesome. And I think, now that I'm looking at this, it looks like, yeah, huh. Like, this is just plain. See that? This is, um, I forgot to tell you the name. The Amazing Striped Paper. And then it's got this, which is the same, the same pattern. Only that in the bottom. So that's weird. Um, Got another one of those. Just a minute. I dropped something. <coughs> Two more pages. Two more pages, guys, and that's it. Okay. Um, first one. This is one that I really had to have. It's got all these kites on it. Perfect for the spring. Like, my kids do fly kites in the spring and until they get all tangled up for the first time and then they get bored with them. So, we will probably use this. Oh, then over here it says, laugh. You fly, you soar. Over on the side. So I was thinking that even though like the paper is so unique, I might use it as kind of like a template to kind of do some other embellished, like other pages, like clustering pages. Not like I'm going to copy them, but maybe use them as inspiration for a while until I really find good pages, good pictures to use with them. This one says, be the best you that you can possibly be. Kind of strange that little bird is driving the bicycle. Be the best paper. Hmm. So guys, that's it. That's all I got today. Um, I have a couple of orders coming in. My quick, my cameo mat finally cracked. I'm not sure what that's all about. I did it right at the top. It started cutting like off center and up really high at the top and it cracked from that at the very top. So I can still use it, but I have probably cut out like 300 things on that thing already. So time to get a new mat. Um, so I have that coming. A couple things from Etsy. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for the new Studio Calico stuff to come out. And when that comes out, that will complete. Oh, and then a couple of the American crafts have got some of the it has um, Amy Tangerine again, and there's a couple pieces of paper I really like from her line, but I really like the Studio Calico lines this season, so I'm going to be getting some of that stuff. 
Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video, and I will be back another day. Bye!